today, I want to take a look at if the UDP render pipeline is faster than the standard rendered pipeline in Unity. So when you make a new project and you can pick what you want, this would be the standard rendered pipeline here. Of course, you could add the universal render pipeline with package manager. And this one here, this would be the universal render pipeline. So I made a project here that's with the standard render pipeline and I downloaded an asset to have like a scene to walk around in. And first I'm gonna see how fast it plays with the standard render pipeline. And then I wanna see what the stats are for when I upgrade it to the universal render pipeline. So here is a scene and does it still have the asset store place that I got it from? This is like the medieval desert city in, from the asset store that I downloaded. And you know, it's really, it's really big. So you can have things to see far away. And I'm gonna have in the, um, in the game mode, the stats window open so we can see like what's going on. We could like compare stats. So I'm gonna press play now. And um, I'm looking around, I'm looking around, and we could see that the batches, it's about 5,000 batches, and we're going at about 150 frames a second, sometimes 200, I guess it depends what comes into the scene. And I could walk around the scene, and if I jump up and I see more of the city, I could just see that it's about 150 frames per second, and, you know, about 3,000 batches. Now, I'm going to up upgrade this to use the... Um, universal data, universal render pipeline. So like I said, first step is we have to get the um, package in since this project didn't start out that way. So here's the package manager. All right, so let's look for the universal render pipeline right here and install it. Okay, it finished installing and you can tell because right here it says remove and right here there's a check mark in there. So the universal render pipeline is in here. Now let's just get the um, assets created that we need. So the first asset is a rendering, universal render pipeline, the forward renderer, renderer, okay? And then it created these two things here. Now we're gonna set the game to use the universal render pipeline. So in the preferences or the project settings, graphics. So it was project settings, graphics here. You could change it to use this. Let me just select it from the list. And everything turns pink. Don't panic. It's because all the assets were using the standard shader. So first thing we could do is try to see if the game will do it for us. So I think it's right here in edit, render pipeline, universal render pipeline, upgrade the project materials. So we'll try to upgrade all the materials first, see how many we get done. And if we're lucky, we don't have that many that we have to work on upgrading because they all upgrade. And that's great. It looks like they all upgraded. And in another video, I show you what you do. If they don't upgrade, you just have to go and pick the material and change the shader to use universal render pipeline lit. That's in another video. Anyway, this video is about is it faster or not. So here we are back with the player. And instead of looking at the wall, oh, it's funny. Here we go. We have one example. The player material didn't update. So let's make a new material for the player. I never really even set a material for the player. I was just using default. So let me just make it new material for the player, and you can see what I mean with the materials. So here's the, the player material. Even though we don't see the player because the camera's inside the player. But here we just made a new player material, and you see how the shader that it picked was the universal render pipeline lit shader. That is the difference. Now I just assign that, and now the player has material on it. <sighs> okay, play. And that's interesting. Everything looks pretty blocky. All right, that was interesting. Uh, the game window, oh, you know why it looked all blocky? Because I had to scale up. Nope, that wasn't a universal render pipeline thing. That was me. All right, so here we are. And right now, we can see, yeah, it looks like we have 300 frames a second, and the batches is about 2,000. So it is a little faster, it seems, just switching to universal render pipeline. And now if I add effects, what happens when I add effects? Does it still maintain that speed, or do I start losing some of the speed I maintained. Let me add the, um, what is it called? The volume, the global volume thing. Mm, I need a new profile. Okay, now I could add overrides. This is where I could add my effects. After I clicked to add a new profile, then I could add overrides. So let's just start off with a toning, a tone mapping, and I'll just use the ACES tone mapping. Mm. Frame rate dropped a little. I'm gonna keep adding effects and seeing what happens. We just look from the scene view here. So I turned on the tone mapping, like I said. So let's see what the difference was with that. This is without, and this is with. And there was another one here called neutral. This is without, and this is with. 
Let me add another one, post-processing. Um, the depth of field is the one that a lot of people seem to be having trouble with on the internet, and I do too. I have a lot of trouble with this one. So depth of field, turn it on. I know that the Gaussian is supposed to be the quicker one, so if you're doing a mobile game to use Gaussian. So I'm going to set a start and an end volume, but as I'm looking over here in the scene view, I see no difference. If I look in the game view, uh, right now I'm not facing a way that I could see anything really. Let me press play. So what the depth of field is supposed to do is supposed to make things that are far away blurry. You know, things that are out of the focus zone. It's supposed to be blurry, but I don't see that happening. And for the life of me, I can't figure out what it is. Maybe it's a bug because a lot of people have been reporting this online as well. But then sometimes I get it to work, sometimes it doesn't. So um, the answer, though, it seems to be that it, it does go faster when I use a universal render pipeline than the standard pipeline. And I think that's due to the fact that the shaders, they are like there's less to the shaders than there are in the standard rendered pipeline. So it doesn't have as much work to do. Let me go check out what the castle looks like. Uh-huh, if I can get in the castle. Come on, let's go. Let's go to the castle. What does it look like inside here? Ooh, nothing, I just went right through the door. All right. You know why? Because probably the only the outsides are rendering, not the insides. And the only thing that has a collider on it right now is the floor. <laughs> so I can walk right through the buildings. Look, look, look. Right through the tree. So here we come. This is the main castle. Yeah, frame rate's really high. 500. So, do -do -do. let me just try to get this depth of field to work. Uh, let me go to scene view. And turn it on and off. Turn it off. Turn it on. I don't know how it happened. Uh, let me check the camera to see if it's rendering with um, post-processing. All right, here, let me click that because... The effect of all these like effects here, these are post-processing effects. So I just click that on. And let me turn this on and off. I'm just trying to switch the values around, see if anything happens. Gosling. See in the game view. Ooh, I think I see it a little bit here. Let's see. It, the depth of field turned on a little bit. I swear something. Yeah, you see how it's like blurrier in the in the distance? So the depth of field is now working. So the things that are close should be crispy. Things that are far should be blurry. Let me play around with the setting a little bit. Um, so let me see where it starts getting in focus and where it ends being in focus. I just change that. Put this. Now let's walk around some more. So you can see the things that are close are pretty crispy, and the buildings that are far away are blurrier. Yeah, so I, I don't know what it is with that um, depth of field. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. But you see, I just kept on toggling it. I did on the camera turn on the um, post-process rendering, but I don't really know. I don't feel like I have control over how it's working. And what does the bokeh one look like, or the bokeh, the bokeh? This one is supposed to be, I guess, a little bit better, but it takes a little more um, processing power to do this one. So let's see, with that at defaults, Let's see what that looks like. And once again, now I think it's not working again. Shoot. See? Sucks. Anyway, that video was, this video is about, I think the UDP, the Universal Render Pipeline is faster than the Standard Render Pipeline, as you can see right there in the stats.